All right, welcome to Vicky3 Academy. I'm Walker. We're doing um what an incredibly important video today. I cannot believe that that I didn't do this already. Um especially because having looked over this tooltip, it's wrong. Uh but we're doing legitimacy. So, legitimacy. What is legitimacy and why is this tooltip incorrect? So, what legitimacy is is it's a modifier that's going to be representing at least in 1.0.6 it represents basically how much political strength is represented in your government. Um, and that's going to be coming from first, um, the distribution of power that's going to have permanent legitimacy values that are just like available for you. Um, just cause it's going to be easier to maintain the legitimacy of a democratic government. You know, pe people like buy into the legitimacy of the government. If there are some mechanisms in place for them to vote on it. Um, if you're an autocratic government, then you have this legitimacy from including head of state. So what that means is um, head of state in government. If you see head of state in government as something like right here, um, head of state's interest group is in government, that can give you a bonus to your legitimacy. So that can come from your distribution of power or it can come from your governance principles because you'll see government principles also gives you legitimacy from specific things. And that's gonna modify the way that your, your clout and your legitimacy is distributed. But that's not what the tooltip says. The tooltip says something about like, measures how well the composition of interest groups in governments fits with the country's laws. That's not true. That's, that's not true. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. It may have been true some time ago, but it is not true anymore. Um, and so that, that tooltip is um, outrageously misleading at the moment. Um, but the lower legitimacy, the longer the time it takes between attempts to enact new laws is true. Um, and importantly, it does say here, raising or lowering taxes also has an impact on legitimacy. That's also true. Um, and that's important to note. So what can you do to impact the legitimacy of your of your government? First, you can change those laws. That's a great way to, to change your legitimacy, um, especially if you're going to be playing in like Japan, for instance. Um, if you're playing in Japan, sometimes it is very, very useful to switch to landed voting, just so that way you have a flat 20 legitimacy instead of 30 legitimacy from including head of state and government, which means that you can have legitimacy without having the shogunate in power, right? Because if, if, you, if you had to have the shogunate in power, then by switching them out, we can, we can even just fast enact this. I'll just show you. Um, so now we're down to 11 because we don't have the shogunate in power and we don't have that sort of all that all that jazz music online. We'll just switch to landed voting. And now, because of the new legitimacy laws, we have 20 from landed voting, right? So, so the laws are going to have an, a, a really important impact on the legitimacy of your government, as will the clout for the, the parties as well as the number of them. So you can't just put absolutely everybody into your government, otherwise you'll have no legitimacy. So what you typically want to do in order to design um, a government that will actually allow you to get stuff done is you typically wanna have like one or two um, IGs or parties with just a ton of clout, um, which if you want to know how to use clout, then check out my IG series. I talk a lot about how to influence clout in there. Um, but you want to have like one or two big important IGs that kind of add legitimacy to your government, both in a mechanical sense as well in as a, in a real sense, right? Um, the fact that you're associating with a party that has a lot of political strength lends legitimacy to your government and then you add in like a party that has the laws that you want to be working on and then that alliance will give you both the legitimacy to function as a government and actually be able to hit um the like times that you need in order to actually roll on this um not to mention the fact that then you can work on the laws that you want to be working on um so that's that's basic legitimacy when you have uh parties then the parties are treated as one object. So um, here, the legitimacy, we can see the size of government is at minus 20, and that's because we have uh, more than one party in here. Um, if we were to kick the landowners out, we would actually, despite having less total clout in our party, um, or in our government, we would have higher legitimacy because we're not dealing with a penalty 
of having these landowners just kicking around being problems. So sometimes it can be it can be useful to have a a smaller focused government. Um, and that's just something that you're going to have to make for yourself in regards to balancing out your legitimacy and the laws you want to work on. Because that's really what you're doing there, at least until 1.1. When 1.1 drops, um, I'm probably going to redo this legitimacy video because it really is something that it looks like it's going to change a lot. Um, but I think it's going to change a lot in a good direction or at least in a direction that's going to make it easy for me to update because I've, I've been encouraging people to maintain medium legitimacy governments for a long time i haven't been saying go to zero legitimacy and get lucky um so so i'm feeling pretty good about the the evergreenness of some of the videos but but let me know if you feel like you learned anything from this legitimacy video and if you if there's anything that you still want to learn about legitimacy it's it's a it's pretty pretty much just this um this tooltip right here and that that first line of this tooltip is just not not useful um, but other than that, I think it's a pretty, a pretty straightforward, uh, idea. Okay. That's Walker. Take care.